Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to the Real Long Walk. And hopefully everybody's having an excellent day today. Uh, you should be watching this. Well, not saying you should be watching this, but the video should go out sometime in the afternoon. According to this, the night before, uh, because uh, tomorrow's going to be work day. Or today's going to be work day because you're hearing me from the future. Or the past. Wait. Which way would it be? It would be my future. But I would be in your past that I'm talking to you. Okay. Note to self. Should quit 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 trying to come up with clever things because they do not ever work out for you. Cleaver will be more likely to happen before clever. Like a cleaver in the skull. So yeah, just 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 don't. Just don't try to be clever, Shook. So anyway. Yeah, hopefully everybody's having a good day today. I'm mildly drowsy. I'm, I'm recording this before I go to bed and right after I've eaten. So that's a good combo right there. You, you, you know them commercials uh, about combos? Yeah, that's, that's a good combo. You probably can expect to hear my, hear my head hit the keyboard at any time now. Plunk. Oh, actually, that would be. It. Oh, space spacebar doesn't do anything in the in the boat. Okay, that's uh, that's a good thing to know. How did I not know for sure that that nothing happened when you hit spacebar in the boat? I guess the same thing is for uh, is for the uh, for my car. Hmm. Right? Yeah, you definitely can't jump a mine cart. That'd be cool if you could, but but you can't as far as yet. That actually would be kind of cool if, if you could make a uh, if you can make yourself jump over <laughs> mine, you know, like, jump in a mine cart. That would be pretty awesome. Recreate some old school video game levels like uh I know I watched uh watched a uh, let's play of uh some of the Donkey Kong games and I never played the Donkey Kong games I actually do remember I had a friend that had them I think I only watched 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 him play a little bit of it though I, I never actually played it myself I don't think not very much anyway uh, but yeah, I, I do remember minecart track in uh, Super Mario RPG. Actually, there's probably been several games with minecarts in them, so. So yeah, you could recreate some pretty crazy stuff with them. But then again, with, uh, I don't know. Hmm. With pistons and and rails and slime blocks and stuff, can can you do some pretty crazy stuff with it? I can't remember. Some of you redstone gurus, you can let me know if if that's the case. Um. But yeah, what? How the crap did I even get on that topic? I don't even know how I got on that topic now. It's always interesting to 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 have a diagram though of oh you started talking about this and then which branch to that which branch to that oh and it branched to that to where you're talking about something that is completely unrelated to what you started talking about pretty fascinating I know I used to have a uh, teacher in uh, in school that. Uh, that, that, that he was very easy to get to talking about just the randomest stuff. Yeah. Whenever we were supposed to have tests, let's just say that. I mean, I, w I was always the quiet, 
you know, I, I was always quiet in, in school. I've, I've just always been the quiet type. You know, so that's why I make a ha why I now have a hobby of talking so much in video game let's plays. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. It is actually quite a reversal. But anyway, yeah, back in school I, I, I was very quiet, especially in class and stuff. You know, I was always the shy, nervous kid. That really hasn't changed that much. Except necessity ha takes over more than more than it used to, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the kids in the class would they would uh they they would be good at bringing up topics and asking them about stuff and just sidetracking them and. Oh, look, 50 minutes later, it's time for class to be over with. That pop quiz never happened. I don't think we, we, may, we probably never ha got away with any actual tests. But it seems like we did uh, deploy that trick for, for, um, for like pop quizzes and stuff. He was a very crazy teacher. Let's just say that he predicted that we were going to be, that the United States would be invaded by this point, by like 10 years ago. <laughs> so, very thankfully he was incorrect. Yeah, he, uh, he was, a uh, he was a bit of a crazy guy, <laughs> but, but he was pretty amusing. Tell the, tell the worst jokes. So yeah, he uh, yeah. Seriously, how did I get onto that topic? I absolutely did not remember. Well, there, there he goes. I was, I didn't really even have stuff to talk about in this episode. So there he goes. I had something to say. <laughs> if uh, if you guys do have any anything you want me to talk about or questions, feel free to put them forward. Ooh, what is this place? This looks like a dangerous... It looks like not a dangerous place. Except, you know, if I'm stupid and go down there and drown. Which I'm not! You might have thought I was. And I'm not saying it's impossible. But, at this point, I'm not, I'm not planning on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I really did fix my mouse in the in the last episode. Just by pounding on it. It it has worked a lot better since then. So yeah, if you if your if your mouse button ever gets a little stuck, just pound on it like just like that. And it uh and it'll fix it. Or break it worse. One of the two. By the way, you can't sue me. That's please, you know. I, I, I please don't try to sue me. <laughs> I am not um, trained to give out uh, proper technical advice on how to fix your equipment. Yeah, um, I guess I can talk about different stuff I've been playing. Here lately, um, I've mentioned it before, but me and Donic, we've got a uh, series we do together called Two Broke Gamers, where we play all sorts of free-to-play games. I, I mentioned it before. I can't remember the last time I mentioned it though. Yeah, we've played several, several things uh, so far. Trove, uh, Fallen Earth, a chess game. A tic-tac-toe game, a soccer game, and uh, yesterday we put out a video of Mech Warrior Online that we uh, that we had a special guest in. The series isn't even a month old, and we're already bringing in special guests. How are we gonna? Keep, how are we gonna keep? <coughs> excuse me. How are we gonna keep trying to top ourselves? 
already bringing in the special guests. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we got in uh, spare time for MC. Good old spare time. Uh, one of the fellow gatekeepers. He uh, he he's he's been putting up videos of Mech Warrior for quite a while. Uh, some of the Mech Warrior games. And uh, here over the past couple months, he's been doing a series, t a tutorial series uh, for Mech Warrior Online. Kind of getting people into it. So if if the game Mech Warrior Online sounds interesting, then go over to go over to Spare Times channel. Check him out. He knows a lot about them. I'm. I've never been much into the mech based games. I don't really know why I've never got into them. I, I got into a game called Front Mission, but that was more of an RPG. Kind of a turn based RPG like Final Fantasy Tactics. And, you know, even then I kind of got tired of it after a few hours, so. Yeah, I don't. I like the Power Rangers. The idea of Max is pretty cool, but I don't know. I've just never been super interested in it. I never watched Gundam either. I probably need to correct that at some point. Gundam is supposed to be pretty good. From what I've heard. But yeah, for whatever reason, I've never watched it. So, so yeah, I've just never been into Max. Except for kind of sort of Power Rangers when I was younger. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty fun game. I, yeah, I'm enjoying it pretty well. I'm very confused during it. But my video game skills are, are definitely... Uh, yeah. Definitely not up to par. Especially with that game. And multitasking. Remembering to do stuff. I, kn I know I was playing it last night. Me and Tonic, we uh, are, are not before last, but when you're watching this. I already, I already said the video went up yesterday, so I need to make sure to keep the uh, keep on the same timeline. Ooh, let's go over here and take a nap. Oh, indeed, let's go over here and take a nap. Let's go to sleep on that thing. Uh... Yeah, Tuesday night we we did a live stream of it. We do we're, we've decided to do live streams of the Two Broke Gamer series. Okay, good. <laughs> where we where we play games, we revisit it live, games live that we've uh, enjoyed. And yeah, we we decided to stream Mech Warrior Online. We'd recorded it. A week and a half ago, but we decided to do the uh, to do the live stream, kind of hype up the series, get people into it. Uh, and yeah, my my memory and multitasking. I was reminded very quickly that it is very inadequate, but it is a fun game. If that's your if you, if that's your cup of tea at all, there's a I can definitely appreciate the amount of stuff you can do in it. So yeah, uh, we'll be putting out several videos of that. Uh, yeah, check that out if you haven't already checked it out. If it sounds interesting to you at all. Don't expect super gameplay. So then again, you should never expect any super gameplay on my part. You'd be crazy if you'd be expecting that from uh, from my stuff. So yeah, uh, guess I can talk about Pixel Piracy some too. There probably won't be a Pixel Piracy episode today. It'll be the only day of the month that there won't be a Pixel Piracy episode out, so. 
yeah, I haven't uh, haven't brought myself to to record it. another episode of it for tomorrow, uh, which is probably a silly thing. If I if I wake up before work, I may do it. I'm gonna have to replace some parts of it though, in order to continue because the game crashed at the end of the last episode. It was a uh, it's quite the crazy occurrence where uh, yeah the game just crashed it got into some sort of crazy audio loop where the guy was like ho 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 he was going like yo ho ho in a bottle of rum I guess and he got trapped in, he got trapped in a hole which I guess there's worse things to be trapped in. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that kind of pissed me off. Thankfully, the recording was saved. I wasn't even expecting the recording to be saved, to be honest. But thankfully, I hit the record button, or the end record button, and the and the and the recording was saved. So yeah, that that was a good thing. So yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to do the you know, handful of battles that I did the time before and resume it there where, where we did. That is that is one thing that I have trouble with. Especially on stuff like that. The repetition. I guess it's one thing why I've never been very good at platformers. I don't have the patience for them. I mean, I've kind of developed some patience though in the last few years since I've been doing a lot more PC gaming buying a lot you know getting a lot more games on Steam and such but yeah it's uh yeah the super repetition su super repetitious games yeah my my brain it, it gets it gets too bored you know having to do the same thing over and over again so yeah, it's uh this thing it's not that big a deal. But yeah, I'm gonna have to replay through it. It, it kinda pissed me off, to be honest. The game I'm I am still enjoying it. I'm really glad I'm only playing it for a month though, to be honest, because I'm thinking any more than that, it would definitely be overstaying its well welcome. I mean it's a good game, but for one thing, it doesn't play worth crap on my computer. That That is a thing that's agitating. Uh, and I don't know why. It's not just my computer, though. It's, you know, it's other people's computers, too, so. You know, when I looked up in the Steam forums, and a lot of folks are having trouble with it. So it just doesn't seem like it's the most optimized game. Which I'm, I was kind of surprised about because, you know, I've heard excellent things about the game. You know, I watched McGregor play a little bit of it, so, you know, and, and uh, I remember at some point, I, um, who was it, maybe Pulsar Jr. tweeted out something about the people who did the game and... I remember being very impressed. I don't remember what it was, what the article was about, but I was like, "Ah, uh, aha! That sounds like an excellent video game company caring about the game and that sort of thing." So, so yeah, I, I was a little disappointed about that. You know, it might just be one of those things where it's they've tried to do too much with it, or you know, tried to make people, you know, too happy, or too many people happy, I guess I should say. I, I know I've heard that about a game called uh, <clears throat> Darkest Dungeon, that a lot of people were, you know, that game was in early access, and I can't remember if it's still in that early access. It may, it may be out of it now, but we you know a lot of folks were putting their, putting their input in, which, which is great. 
but the uh, but the folks were the developers were trying to take in too much trying to make too many of them happy and it actually wind up making the game not nearly as good as it was yeah I think the game it yeah I think the game is out completely because yeah it seems like the article I read talks about how in early access the game was actually better than it was when it was released so yeah it is released then I'm sure pretty sure <laughs> have terrible memory don't don't take anything I say as absolute fact but there is something like that that happened <laughs> something of some degree So yeah, uh, that might be something that happened, which it, which is a, which is a good situation, you know. I think I think Mojang does a pretty good job with that. You know, they they take ideas that you know folks have, you know, and they'll they'll implement it in their games some. They don't take every idea, you know. They kind of know which ones to pick and choose, and of course, you know, some people are. You know, are unhappy about, you know, the some of the decision. You know, a lot of people aren't ha are still not exactly happy about the uh, PVP thing. Well, I I'm assuming people aren't still aren't super happy about it. I haven't really heard too much about it here lately, so I I've been a little bit out of the loop with it myself. With me being a slacker. With my 100 lives in Minecraft series, making a good bum, <laughs> having not picked it back up again. Just can't recapture magic that I had the first time. I'm trying to bottle up that magic and drink it. <laughs> it's just hard to keep up a. It's really hard to keep up a single player let's play. And you know Minecraft and or like a big Minecraft Let's Play and do other stuff. Cause there's a lot of stuff you can do in Minecraft. So this is, a, I mean, this is a single player Let's Play right here, but it's it's a very different type of Let's Play. But yeah, what was I saying? You know, a lot of people weren't happy about the PvP update. Probably not. Probably still not that happy about it, but you know they they do they're doing what they think will make the game last longer. I think so. I think there's probably a bit of a difference there. Then again, I am a little bit biased. I guess I've been playing Minecraft for over two years now. Almost two and a half now, so. And I've been pretty satisfied with it. The new updates haven't upset me so far. And the new update hasn't bothered me yet. Except I am going to be worse at it. Yeah, I'll definitely be worse at it for a while anyway. Um. So yeah, I don't think it's quite the same. And then again, the pixel piracy situation—it might not be the same deal e anyway. But it does—it does kind of stink that you know multiple people are having trouble with it and it being unplayable almost. You know, I've managed to for it not to be unplayable yet, except when it crashed. You know, then that was kind of unplayable then. <clears throat> oh man, my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to take me a sip of Sprite. So yeah, that uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep an eye on it though. You know, I I do see a thing at the beginning of each episode of uh, or at, when I open up Pixel Piracy, talking about updates and stuff. So they might they might get that ironed out. I must still do that, so I can't say for sure. 
I don't expect it to be done by the end of the month, though, so... As far as recording goes, it won't really be a factor for me. <clears throat> I'm going to need to remember to get a little bit more wood at some point. Yeah, definitely going to need to get some more. Alright, but... That'll be the end of today's episode. Did I get that? Yeah, I got it. I like it's up there on the toolbar, but I opened up my... Opened that up to, uh... Just to see. That smart shook. You're, you're a smart person. Who, how far? Almost 560,000. Not bad. This is episode 110. We've met... We've went... 60,000 blocks in 10 episodes. That's... It's pretty good time, actually. That's that's making pretty good distance. <clears throat> so yeah. Oh, and uh, I will say one more thing. I'm going to, I'm going to possibly do a live stream Saturday. This is the same possibility as the live stream that was on last Saturday. It never happened. So yeah, it may not happen. There's definitely a chance there will be no live stream Saturday. However, there is a possibility of a live stream on Saturday, so keep your eyes on the Twitter feeds and the YouTube subscriptions to uh, to see when I go live, because it'll be here on YouTube, so you don't have to worry about you know, going over to Twitch or anything, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, going to end the episode here. I do sincerely hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell, there.